hi, hi. Today is kudos day, which is pretty much my favorite day of every party because it is such an amazing savings. Um, so the kudos for the month of April is a Moodstruck Addiction Palette. We have six of them. We just launched a new one. I wish I had it, but mine's on the way. Um, today I'm going to use number three, which is like purples and grays. Um, there is also, probably should not have put them away. So palette number one, like one and four are really my go-tos. So palette number one is your browns and neutrals. Palette number two is your grays. You can see I really have not used that one. Number three is the purples and pinks that will be in grays that we'll be doing today. Number four are blues and browns. Love this palette. Use that one a lot as well. And then number five, which I played around with the other day. So pretty. Bright, vibrant ones. So with the kudos, you get the Moodstruck Splash Liquid Lipstick in your color choice and same thing with the palette and then also an epic mascara which you can get the black the brown or the waterproof black in that and it's a 20 percent savings so all of these together would normally be 100 they're 80 and also right now i have as of the recording of this video i will post it when i when we get to kudos day i have three more spots open for um in my vip group i do like the first five people that purchase the kudos get like a free gift um this one will be the crease brush which looks like that so there's three more spots open so if you buy um the whole kudos oh my god my dog's precious um i'll send you the crease brush for free three spots left with that i just bought a bag off of another party that i was in for somebody else and she's like curled up on the bag I haven't used it yet so it's not like it smells like me so I already have on my base face, I did the BB cream with the pressed powder foundation on top. Um, just so it wasn't dewy. Um, bronzer, seductive blush, luminizer, did my eyebrows, and here we are. The bronzer I used for my contour. All right, so I like to clean my brushes. I have this artsy brush makeup cleaner. It's literally just like a sponge and because you don't want to transfer any of your previous stuff onto your current lid. So I've honestly have never used this palette. Literally one in four are my go-tos. So with that being said, bear with me with this eye look. Um, <clears throat> typically I always start with, and I already have eye primer on. You know how like sometimes when you wear eyeshadow, everything like clumps up in your crease? The stuff will stop that. It will also stop if you get like oily lids, your eyeliner from moving. You kind of want to let it set three to five minutes just like your face primer. Which I've already done that obviously as well. All right, what are we gonna go with? I think we're gonna go with Tickled in the crease. Which Tickled is the lighter color in here. And like you want to do a little bit at a time. A little goes a long way. Um, this isn't really the lightest color in the palette, but it's the one furthest over on the left. And I always like to hold my brush down at the end so that way I'm not putting too much pressure on it. So in this palette, we have mattes, we have shimmers. We have satin one. I meant to take a before picture and totally spaced. So the beginning of every month we come out with the kudos. Um, last month was an amazing one. So if you grab that, nice job. So last month's was the Flawless Flawless 4, which is your primer, liquid foundation, concealer, and setting spray or powder. 
um, for $99, which is a savings of like $47. Crazy. So today, like this month is, now we're doing the extras. We're doing the face and the lips and the, I mean the eyes and the lips. So yeah. Do I want to do cheeky or ecstatic? That almost looks like a brownish metallic. I think I want to do purple today. So many different options. Sort of tickled. We're not doing irate, which is like, it's black. I'm not putting that on my eyes today. Um, let's do cheeky on the outside. I'm going to use my deluxe brush for this one. I can find it. That's not it. I tried to put everything together before I started this video. That's, that's hiding right there. I had it. So I'm gonna grab the cheeky, which is a, this one right here, this purple sparkly. And I'm just gonna dab that on my outer corner. I was watching another presenter last night and she, when she tells her people to dab, she calls it happy feet. So take it over and do the happy feet. You're just pressing it in. That's such a pretty purple. So our our number six palette, yeah, six, is a um, purple and mauve. I'm so excited to see that. So pretty. I'm just gonna kind of take that a little bit up into my crease. I don't want to go all the way over because I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use smitten or flippant. I really like flippant. We'll go on with the flippant. And you don't want it to get look get like a muddy look, so that's another reason why we press it on. And that's why sometimes like we don't blend as much because you don't want that muddy look. So I'm gonna use the same brush and go in with that flippant, but go in on the inside, like the corner. Do I want to do flippant and then smitten? I think I do. So flippant's like a lavender. I'm just gonna press that in. And we'll probably go back in with the darker color just to kind of blur that line a little bit. And then we'll go into the smin with the same brush. I'm going to put some concealer there. <clears throat> so the smitten's going to be like the lighter color on the inner corner. Take a little concealer. There. It's easier than I thought. If you don't use blending buds, I highly recommend them. I absolutely love them. That's what I use for my concealer. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna go back in with Cheeky just on the corners. And I'm gonna do that happy feet. not going to do a liner today because this is strictly for the kudos. <clears throat> I'm going to take Determined, which is this lighter grayish purple with my blending brush. My blending brush is literally my favorite brush that I have. A lot of people use the fluffy crease brush as a blending as well. So this is the blend name and this is the fluffy crease. The fluffy crease we launched January 1st, so I've been used to using my blending brush. I haven't really jumped on the crease wagon yet, the fluffy crease wagon. Eventually I will. So I'm just going above and blending out above my crease line. Because I don't want any harsh lines. It's kind of smoking it out as well. but I don't want to bring it down to the lid because I don't want to get that part muddy. Okay. So, to, ooh, that one broke. So typically what I like to do I think I need to buy another one of those palettes. Um, which I will take a different palette to do this. Just because this one doesn't have any that I think would be a really great highlighter. I used four as a highlighter. So like in palette number four, there's this Tender. Which is, which is a nice shimmer. Um trying to find if I have any clean fingers. I'm gonna go in and grab a little of that with my pinky and I like to just do a little highlight there. See the difference? And I'll go in and do it that side too. I like it. And if you are so inclined, some people do, some people don't. I like to when I'm wearing browns, typically not when I'm wearing purples, but for the sake of it today, I will do it. Um, instead of using an eyeliner, I like to bring the color down and smoke it out that way. I think I might do, I don't know if the tickled will give me any color because I want yeah it's not I wonder if the flipping well no all right so we are gonna have to go with the cheeky I even could do the irate here let's do the irate I'm going right below the t like tear line. So I typically will do this over using a liner any day of the week. Because you can get the color to match a lot more if you're using the shadow that you're using on your eye. All right, see the difference? And I'll go in with it on that side as well. Because this is black, it's almost like I'm literally using a liner. Maybe it's not black, it's like a deep purple. And then I like to not necessarily wing it, but just bring it up a little bit. And then we'll blend it into the 
we'll use the fluffy crease brush for this. We're just gonna blend it in to the purple that we already have going on. I feel like the shadow on that side's a little bit darker, but. Okay, perfect. So that brush that I use, this is just the um, eyeliner brush. I use it for shadows, because it gives me a nice line. All right, so that's part number one in the kudos. Pot number two, we will do one coat of lashes. We'll line the lips, which is not part of the kudos, but um, line the lips, do the second coat, and put on splash. I was gonna do I'm doing brown mascara just because my black I need to replace, which I have some downstairs. I just haven't done it. And if you need to know what color palette would go best with your skin tone and eye color, shoot me a message. Because you definitely want to get on this deal. Excuse me, another thing when you're using eye primer, yes, eye primer. If you get your mascara on your eyelid anywhere, it can become very difficult to get off. All right, do, do, do. <clears throat> lips. I typically go for lighter lips, so this is probably gonna be shocking to me, but I'm gonna go darker. This is Sentimental, and then I am going to be using the Pompous Liner. So if you want to, if you have thin lips, I don't have a thin bottom lip, but my top lip is, they don't really like match. Um, you can like go outside of your line to line them to make them look bigger. I have another trick as well, hold on. Um, white liner. <clears throat> if you use that like in your center, it will help make your lip look more plump and big. White liner is good for a lot of things. It also helps you like have a really doe-eyed look if you want to do that. That tickles so much on my lip. Alexa, next. You can color in your whole lip if you want to. I'm probably not going to, because I don't know how much, like I said, I haven't used these colors before. I don't know how much it will affect the lip color. <clears throat> so our Splash Liquid Lipstick, we, I mean, it comes in a ton of colors and I don't even have them all. Um, the one thing I love about this is once you put it on and it dries, it stays. Like the staying power of it is crazy. Unless you put like anything on top of it and then staying power is isn't as good as it is if you know which I am one of those girls that I have to like I put my honey lip plumper on top of it and stuff like that so I have to apply a couple times a day when I do wear it oh 
Oh, this is cute. So with the liner, liners can help change the color, enhance the color. There's just so many different options. I love it. Um, and also, you can just do a liner and cover it with like our Mood Struck Hottie, which is like a lip plumper. I love it. Um, and we also have a clear gloss that you could cover it with. Anyways, different day. Today's all about the kudos. So, second coat of Epic. You want to make sure you let the coats dry before you do your next coat because you want it to be, it's buildable. Just like everything else we have. All our foundation is pretty much buildable. Love it. All right, so that is the kudos for the month. Again, 20% savings, so it's 80. Um, free shipping if you're not a prestige, prestige customer gets you to, you have to spend 100. Um, once you spend that initial 100, you become a prestige customer, so then I think it's 75 is the um, threshold for free shipping. Um, and then for every 100 you spend above the first hundred, you get $10 Y cash that you can use, which is awesome. Unfortunately, Y cash cannot be used on kudos because there is always there's already a fantastic savings in the kudos. So if you want to get shade matched for foundation or your eye color, eye shade for this full days, let me know and I'd be more than happy to help.